is coach uh, another good outing for Romania. And, uh, it's a good start of the season. Today in the first half, the game looked like already it was won, and it was seriously on uh, the technical ability of the team. Perhaps uh, this is a new way this season. Well, I don't think it's a new way. I think obviously last season, you know, we're a very much pass and move team. Um, we've went out and reinforced in certain areas to raise the competition within the team. So I think it's just an extension. Um, we were we were happy today. I still think we're only maybe at 70 percent, seven out of ten. That was the players' own score. We asked the players at halftime where do they think they are performance-wise in terms of where we can be, and they all agreed that it was sort of seven out of ten. So there's more to come. I thought we were very clinical today. I thought we sort of took our opponents apart, sort of bit by bit. But there's definitely a lot more to come. So we're pleased today, but we know there's higher levels that we can reach. Well, uh, Benson again. Uh Well, look, I think he's a young man. We said last season that he wasn't the finished product. Um, it's important, though, you know, we, I even had a chat with him this morning um, before we had lunch about that it was that he needs to keep doing the things that he's very good at. You know, there's a lot of people around, you know, want a good player to be able to do everything in the game. They want every player to be Leo Messi. But Benson is very good, and we're adding certain things to his game, but he can't forget about the things that make him good in terms of being a predator in the box. I think the goal he got today was evidence of that, getting across his man, getting to the front post, getting, you know, a header on a very difficult, you know, opportunity. But, yeah, he's done well. But now the nice thing this season is maybe that pressure's been taken off him a little bit as well because the guys around him are probably a lot more capable of contributing to make sure that that weight of expectation isn't solely on his shoulders. Uh, and now looking at the team's uh, formidability, the team is formidable right now, it's building to a very, very, very dangerous team. Uh, you have not gone out perhaps uh, and uh, we are expecting next weekend you will be out of Nairobi. Uh, is there any change perhaps you should expect or is the team going forward? Yeah, look, next week we've got an incredibly difficult game up in Kakamega. You know, homeboys had a very good result yesterday. And look, you know what the games like are between homeboys and Kogalo. Um, last year we had a win up there, they had a win down here, um, obviously in the cup as well, and then we won the Charity Shield a few weeks ago. So it, they're always incredibly tight encounters. We know the pitch up there at Kakamega is a little bit different, can we say, than the one here in, in Nairobi. So. We always say you've got to play the environment as much as you've got to play your opponent. So we, we'll prepare for that game and we'll go and, you know, we're going to look for three points, but we expect a very, very difficult encounter. Good, uh, a dominant display today, very clinical. Would you turn base in a statement? I think what we said to the players actually before the game was we wanted a statement result and a statement performance. I think last week or two weeks ago against Ulinzi, you saw the iron, that sort of hard steel that's in this Kogalo team that we can go and fight in a difficult environment and pick up three points. And today you saw a different type of performance, more pass and move, more free flowing. And we did say we wanted a statement result and we wanted a statement performance. I think we probably got the result side of it, but like I said, probably 70% of what we're capable of today. So there's definitely a lot of room for growth, both as individuals and as a team. But yeah, we're, we're happy with today, but there's definitely more to come. Okay, thank you guys.